Today I'm going to be making a bacon wrapped uh, jailhouse burrito uh, baked into a meatloaf with a chicken nugget base. Um, it's a bit of a different video. Uh, I have everything uh, already made up. Um, got my meatloaf ready to go. Um, my jailhouse burrito has been uh, sitting in its towel for a couple hours now. Um, got my bacon over there and uh, I'm going to be baking it in this pan. So uh, let's go ahead and get this ready here. Take my jailhouse burrito out of its towel. The burrito turned out very nice. Um, it's a burrito made out of Doritos, hot fries. I actually found hot fries. They're a little hard to find. Uh, get a plate here for this. And I have some uh, Slim Jims in there too. I'm going to have to put that camera down for a sec. Difficult to do one-handed. Oh yeah. Yeah, that burrito turned out good. Really good. Perfect. <laughs> How come I can't get them to turn out like that all the time? That'd be nice, huh? Alright, now the next thing I'm going to do is, well, first I'm going to move some stuff. Move that. God, there's just not enough room here. Put that there for now. What I need is a cutting board. Okay. And what we're going to do is we are going to wrap the burrito with bacon. Now I've never done anything like this before. <laughs> um, I don't know how it's going to turn out. I'm sure it'll be good. I mean, meat looks good, bacon's great, chicken nuggets are awesome. Ooh, I think we're going to do one more piece of bacon. Okay, so three pieces of bacon. All right. All right, here's the burrito all wrapped up in the bacon. Um, if you're watching at this point, uh, take a second to like my video, share it. Um, yeah, I appreciate uh, all the views, comments, and I love talking to people on here. Okay, let's get the base of that meatloaf in there. You know what I'm going to do? Make sure you can see this. Here we go, how about that? Now what I'm going to do is lay down the base of it first. Ooh, shoot, I forgot. We're putting the uh, chicken nuggets at the base of it. Give you a shot of that. I didn't cook the nuggets first. I figured, what's the point? I mean, if you cook them beforehand, they'll just end up getting overcooked because you're going to have the meatloaf in there for like an hour or so. I think you're going to be just fine. Now I'm putting it in this pan first to shape it. Um, and usually I cook a meatloaf in one of these types of pans, but I never thought of putting it on something like this where the juices can run off and your meatloaf won't be as greasy. So what I'm going to do is put it in this first and then I'll have to shut the camera off and attempt to uh, get it from here into there. Alright. Take our burrito. Push it down a little bit. Not too hard because I don't want to break the chips. Okay.
Put meatloaf on top of that. I think if I can't get the meatloaf out of this pan and put into that one easily, I may just cook it in this one. Okay, pretty much got it all in there. I'm going to go ahead and shut this off and try to get it over to the other pan. Okay, I got it out of the smaller pan, put it in the bigger one, and it was actually pretty easy. Okay. Alright, I'm going to cook this for an uh, hour, maybe a couple minutes over. Um, on 350. Okay, I had it in for uh, a little over an hour, maybe an hour and a half, roughly. Um, it stayed intact pretty much. Looks pretty good. Seems to be thoroughly cooked. Let's go ahead and cut it open. See what it looks like. You get a knife here. I'm going to try to cut a little further in. So I cut into the bacon and the uh, burrito, hopefully. <laughs> and there it is. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and try it out. See how it tastes. Kind of want to get uh, a nugget in the bite, too. All right. That's pretty good. That is pretty darn tasty. Hmm. All right. Well, thanks for watching. Check out my other videos. Like, subscribe, share. Uh, follow me on Facebook. I'll have the link down in the description. Thanks for watching again, and uh, have a good day.